up? I'm Johnny. What's up? I'm Ryan. I'm Rich, and we're highly suspect. Highly suspect. Highly suspect. I think just to write something genuine and real, it was a lot of fun. We went down to uh, Colombia to do it, uh, Bogota, and so just to get away from everyone we knew. And uh, yeah, it was a blast, but the, the main intent when we're writing music is to make sure that it's from the heart. It's like, it's all of the above. All of the above. It's the, no song is written the same way. Uh, sometimes Johnny writes the whole thing and then brings it to the table. Sometimes it's a jam that sparks an idea. Sometimes Rich does it, you know what I mean? It's always different. It's just whatever makes the idea happen. Yeah, like with Bath Salts, he just had a beat. And I was just listening to it and I was like, that beat deserves a song. So it's like, there's no, the ends justifies the means. Yeah, Little One's a song about uh, my ex-girlfriend who's actually from Chicago. Imagine that. Uh, and it's just a song kind of about, you know, moving on because of life differences, you know. Just a typical cheesy breakup song. Uh, the video was a lot of fun. We shot it out in Los Angeles. And she, the, Madison is her name, is actually in the video. When we were in the studio creating, like during the writing session, randomly Post Malone just happened to show up and he was like in the studio just like smoking a cigarette. And I was like, hey man, this is like our session. And he was like, I'm sorry. He was a really nice dude. And I was like, no, it's cool. You can chill, whatever. And uh, we wound up hanging out for, for like a week. And it's kind of like, I think helped inspire me to get a little bit more patter in the lyrics. So that's why you kind of hear that like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's not like he didn't write the song at all. We wrote it in Clem, but like during hanging out with him and Mike Studd and some of these other like hip hop artists that we're friends with, we love hip hop a lot. And uh, we kind of sneak it into rock and roll without being Fred Durst. And to, to bring, <laughs> <laughs> wow. And to bring it back to that question we were talking about earlier, um, I think the, the, ba the beat was written from Rich's bass line. It was just like, that's amazing. And then went from there. The last ones we just did, uh, definitely losing to David Bowie. That was my favorite thing that ever happened. The greatest win we've ever had. I was worried that somebody else was going to take it. I really, I was really rooting for him, you know, because that was his, only his second Grammy ever, you know, and I, I, I just felt like he really deserved that more than anybody, Everything, you know. Just being nominated, I think, is, is such a win, and to yeah. be nominated three times, like, from, from you guys, from the recording account, it's like, uh, you know, from our peers, because it's not like a fan based thing you know what I mean it's, it's that makes it feel really good when you know that there's people in the industry that are recognizing what you're doing um, but you know we've lost to Muse Alabama Shakes and David Bowie so that's just like oh, it's, it's it's great it's crazy it's but, you know, if you guys want to give us one sometime that'd be cool too yeah, <laughs> yeah.